Hi, my name is Todd Backus, and I'm here today with Hot Pepper Theater, and I'm joined by Joe, Ellie, and Allison. And today we're starting something a little new. We're calling it Drunk Pepper Theater, and we're going to talk to you about American Psycho the Musical. But before we do that, we're going to drink some habanero infused tequila, and we're just going to see what happens. So. Get ready to rock. <laughs> American Psycho. Ah! Ah! The music. Ah! We're gonna say like one word how you feel about American Psycho. Why are these lying? So, my one word, uneven. Badass slash amazing. All connected in those spaces. Underwhelming. Blood. Less. I feel like it's a good show. I feel like the music dictates a very serious show. <laughs> and the director decided, let's f with that by playing all of the rest of the scenes as camp. I feel like a couple of the numbers were like taking themselves a little bit too seriously. So what I feel is like half of it was super camp and fun, and then half of it was like, but it's like, pick what, like if you, you gotta pick one or the other. Yeah, exactly. Right. It didn't yeah. know what it wanted to be. It yeah. Really, like the show didn't know what it wanted to be, and I felt like it was evident in the performance quality from each individual. I feel like the leads are doing one show, and then the ensemble is doing an entirely different show. Oh, interesting. There was no single voice or story that made sense within the world of this this particular story. I think that everyone that worked on this show did an incredible job. What I was not, what I didn't walk away with as an audience member was that they were all doing the same show. But, yeah. as the other side, I like what you said about it gotta be jarring. It wants to be like an indictment of the 80s and what the 80s right. were. And yeah, what yeah, the 80s yeah. was that it was like this jarring time in which no one, everyone kind of was in their own bubble and no one knew what was going on. So I think that like, it all felt very, very... Reflective? Not, yeah, very not very reflective, but of just like the time. Yeah, yeah. Of, of the time period. Helene York, I think, is in her <laughs> own show, and I think her show is wonderful. That's what that's I love the show I She was so see. funny. No, I she's so ben funny and she's so great. No, Ben Walker's show is also ben good, and I think the juxtaposition of those two bubbles is great. And I think if there is a juxtaposition, if like one person feels like they don't fit in the show, I think it should be Benjamin Walker's character. If Benjamin is the person <coughs> that we want to be different, mm -hmm. I can respect that, except that I didn't think any of the stakes were high enough. Mm -hmm. I think there was text missing. Huh. And yeah. there was context missing. I and agree. there was a lot of, like we talked about bloodless. I, I walked in expecting like McDonough blood. Yeah. Like I wanted, I wanted gallons of yeah. blood. I, I wanted, wanted there to be a lid like on the stage. It was good. There was there there wasn't. Really? Oh, yeah. One of the things that I really loved about this show was the end of Act One. Yes. The finale of Act One. Well, Huey Lewis in the news. Right, right. It's the Huey Lewis in the news. <laughs> Patrick just like wails on this dude with this hatchet, and there's just like spurts of blood, yeah. spurts of blood, it's spurts of blood, and it's great. <clears throat> it leaves you feeling like. Oh my god, this is what the show is gonna be. And then act two for me was such a letdown. What more do you yeah, want? You, you, you no, but I wanted that want? tone. What do you want? I wanted what? that tone. I wanted jumper cables and I wanted I all wanted the things the you need. I wanted him to jump to the yeah. that oh, tape yeah. up down. The spree that he goes that, on. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Yes! It's, it's a that's my thing. Yeah. It's a little, it's a yeah. little. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, like I understand that we have like Sweeney Todd as a musical and I understand that we already have like a bloody murder musical, but like why? Why can't we have like a bloody 80s murder musical. Do you think that's a modern problem? That we can't be bloody anymore? I think we can. I, I think know. this I think show should. Should. I think we should. I think this show should. I felt like this show did a lot of good things, yeah. which is why which is why I'm sad about can how I, I feel about the show. What do you think the difference is? I think the, 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 the journey great. of Patrick Bateman from I'm 26 years old and living in New York at the end of the century to end of the show, I'm 27 years old. Living in New York City at the end of the century, this is what being Patrick Bateman. The fucking shift between that to that, his journey. Was, uh, he did a good arc for himself, but I don't think the play did. followed it. Dude, okay, guys, did. we're doing it. Look. Yeah. They've made my favorite oh. rhyme in all of musical theater history thus far. Mahi Mahi, it's <laughs> Isaac Mizrahi. Isn't that so good? That's very 
pretty good. Smart. Duncan Sheik's music, I think, is actually phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And what he did was he like broke apart late 80s, early 90s electronica yeah. and house music, yeah. which is itself very like dead inside. I did not think the music for the plot. I didn't think the music pushed the story. I feel like it was overproduced. I feel like... It's a character study. It, but the character that they wanted to <laughs> study, I was not interested in. I'm oh, dead! Super interested. I felt like it was empty. I felt like it was thin. Yes. But that was, in, and that's that was intentional. Point. That was intentional. That's the whole point. The music, no, no, no. The music no, no. is no. so empty. The music, oh the God. music is empty like the characters are empty. Yes. And oh, that's, that's so exciting. Oh, that's yes. so exciting. Yes. That's so exciting. Yes. No, you can have a full uh -huh. empty song. You can have a full song that's empty, absolutely. I think one of the problems is that like the choreography as dictated by the score needs to be very plastic and very like hard hitting. And we talked about this. And I wanted way more pop lock. It's got yeah, no, it's got I, a no, pop that's not fair. I wanted way more isolation. I saw these like pockets of you what saw I wanted. That it could be. Yeah, I, mean, I saw and that's these what's moments. So upsetting. We wanted to be incredible because it it could be. I would rate this show. I'm gonna give the show like a two out of five. There were a lot of things that I liked about this show, and there were a lot of things that I didn't like about this show, and it made me sad. And I will give that habanero tequila like five. I'm gonna give that like a four and a half out of five, because that roughed me up. I'm gonna give American Psycho a four out of five. Because I really liked it, and I was very sucked in by, I was very engrossed by the entire time. I would also yeah. give this tequila a five out of five, because that was really, really good. I'm going to give it a one out of five. The and tequila gets tequila. a f me. Yeah, I'm giving American Tequila a two point four out of five. <laughs> I'm going to give the actual <laughs> tequila like a five out of five, and the habanero part of the tequila yeah. like a garbage out of five. <laughs> and Great. that's my review. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to Hot Pepper Theater. You can follow us on Twitter at Butthurt Reviews. You can follow me on Twitter at TB Backus. You can follow Joe on Facebook because I don't have a Twitter. Hi. Search at for Joe Reese. Beautiful. E -C -E. No, you can follow research. Ellie. My website is elliefrancis.net. And you can follow Allison. <laughs> Allison Chilling. Bye! Yay! Cool, the video is over. Oh, yeah. Theatrical media.